In this video, you will learn how to create your first project, how to add and place data, and how to publish these assets to the cloud for use on Android, iOS, and HoloLens 2. When you log in for the first time, you will be presented with this screen. It is your home to all of your own projects, as well as projects shared with you. It even has a handy learn and support section to help you in case you run into issues. To create a project, click new project, assign a unique name and click confirm. To make sure we are all viewing the same layout, click on window and reset layout. To add objects to your scene, such as a picture or 3D files, drag and drop them onto the asset library. Click on the refresh button to make sure all files are processed. You can see them listed under personal assets. Before we proceed, let's go to the default state. You can use this state to reference data throughout multiple steps, which can be a huge advantage on larger projects. To add the objects to the scene, simply drag and drop them onto the step hierarchy. To zoom onto a selected object, double click the object. Textures are imported by default with a 10 cm height. However, for my project, I want it to be 1 meter. So let's scale the image tenfold in the red X direction and the blue Z direction. To make sure our texture is shown with transparency, click on the image in the scene, go to Object Properties and change the alpha mode to Blend. I chose to add this placement image to also make clear to the end user how to anchor the experience to the real world. You can see that the center of the image is located in the center of the scene, which will also be used as an anchor. Important to remember is that the relative position of the 3D data to the anchor has a big impact on the experience of the end user. In this case, you can see that the 3D data is already perfectly positioned towards the anchor. The front of the object matches the front in the viewer, and the position towards the anchor is nice in the middle. This already puts the project in a state that is ready to publish for a first test. Let's move to the first step and save the project first. Next, click Publish, choose Passive as an option. This means that the published file will always start from the first step for each user. You have now successfully published your file to Android, iOS and HoloLens 2 devices. Now, please download the WorkLink by Scope AR app on your Android, iOS or HoloLens 2 device and log in with the same credentials you used to log in to create. At this point, you should see a list called Scenarios, hosting your first published file. Tap the scenario to open it. Now the user is prompted to place the object on a flat surface. Looking around the room, you can see that the app correctly recognizes objects. I will place my content on the middle of the table for now. Tap to lock in place. Congratulations, you have officially successfully published and consumed your very own AR experience.